What is good? These Topo Chicos, they're good. How y'all doing? Good? Good. How's your life? Oh. All right. Oh, oh bad. That was poor. Let's see if we get a third one here. All right. Uh, Not terrible. Oh, got terrible. Got a little, got craft, a little, craft beers are pretty hit or miss. Got a little spray there. Hit or miss. You need a good oh, yeah. domestic for a proper crack. <laughs> You got to get it up on the mic, and then you're definitely going to spray mm-hmm. some onto the... Uh... Mm-hmm. Welcome in. We are back. Be sure to subscribe. Get that Monday uh, recap show. But today, we're going to hit you with a little kind of studs and duds, kind of a sit-start show going through some some duds who you might... Against some studs, the duds are going to be guys who were maybe a little bit higher picks, and then against maybe some guys who were a little bit lower picks, seeing... Who you should sit, who you should start, kind of deal here. So, how you guys feeling after your week one in your leagues, though? You said you know, overall, didn't yeah. Don't overreact. It's fine. But the, the I've like lost the leagues I should have won, and I won the leagues I should have lost. You know, Jason, we should not have won in the league we lost in in the Patreon league. You shouldn't have won. We should not have won. Yeah, we lost. Did you win? No, okay. we. Yeah, we you lost. deserved it. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, I mean Josh Jacobs, we won. And Montgomery just getting nothing. Even Alan Stafford. Mm. 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 Burrow threw four picks. What are mm. you gonna do? The team with five tight ends won. <laughs> Good for you, Peter. It's super super tight end premium. That's two points per reception. So if you, you know, if your guy goes eight for eighty, that's sixteen for eighty. Yeah. <laughs> that counts. That's, that's that's strong. That's a decent number. Um, all right, all right. No one cares. Everybody what cares. Are we doing? Everybody cares. I told you what we're doing. You guys want to get into it? Yeah. Ready to go? Let's go. I Subscribe, like, five star review. Can't get over your shirt. You like this old OG Niners with the with the long sleeve, V neck. So you can breathe. So your neck can breathe. Mm-hmm. Maybe get a little couple curly cues, some hamburger meat out of there. Mm. If I had a little gold Jesus piece, maybe it's that a, would like be. the smallest V neck I've ever it is, seen. It it's is. like not even a V neck. It was before like a deep V. Like this was eight. This <laughs> is eighties material, so they weren't making them deep. They were just this is a regular. That's v. not even a regular V. Regular that's a, V. That's like a short V. That's like short. a small V. Those are the kind of V's I like. I know, me too. It <laughs> makes my D look bigger. See, so, so you had to take it. You could have just left it at the. So I like Kenny Pickett. You know, small, small hands makes you. All right. Did get, can he pick his hands? Makes your dick look big. <laughs> yeah. Is that what you're trying <laughs> yeah. to say? Oh yeah. All right. Yeah. Moving on. Oh, yeah. Pick it in his small hands. All right. Get so him we, on the field. We got a dud list. The dud list is A. Rob, C. D. Mooney, Ayuk, Amari, D. J. Moore, Smith, Brees, Hall, Penny, A. K. A bunch of guys like that. So we're just gonna put them up against a more of a, a stud list. The lower price guys uh, who perform very well as far as Michael Thomas's, Jarvis's, Curtis Samuels. Robbie Andersons, Wolf, uh, Dotsons, that Charks, guy. Zays, Kirks, C Pats, J Robs, Hendos, Dorches, Rex Burkheads. Uh, so you get the point at this point. Um, let's jump right in. We'll start A Rob. He had 2.2 points in uh, week one. <laughs> Wide receiver 106, and they stay at home to play Atlanta. Uh, a Rob or Jarvis Landry, who was wide receiver 15, 18.4 points, and is at home playing Tampa. See, there's the there's the key for me is Tampa. Saints been strong against Tampa the last few outings. They've given him fits. Jameis banged up, potentially banged up. Super negative game script as well in the Atlanta game as well too. Right for the passing. I like think it, I gotta, was, it was good for the passing that they were correct, da- that they were yes, down down yes. early. Yes. I think I got to stick with a Rob. Yeah, a Rob. I think I'm with you guys. I'm I'm going to stick with a Rob for one more week. If you watch the cut up of all of his snaps and routes ran, he's open. Most people were in there saying he's open. We said he was open. Then there was other people saying he was not open. I don't know what you guys are watching. Roto World was saying that he wasn't open. And in that yeah, well, in that tweet, big to differ. Like, yeah. I don't. Uh, think he look, was open. Look pretty open, and, uh, and you he know, might get greased. You're gonna go probably in the meeting room Fleeced. and say, you know, cut, what are we doing the, here? Fuck the meeting room. He needs to go to breakfast. Well, he does need to go to breakfast. Uh, but you hey, know, Coop, Matt, what are you guys eating? McVeigh will, will adjust. Um, yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. And you know, Stafford wasn't playing a whole lot. Yeah. So they the whole had offense was just rusty. Was, um, there was a yeah. Graham Barfield stat where I believe 
teams that rest their starters through the last two years were six and 13 in week one uh, and seven and 12 versus against the spread. So not great numbers for the teams who are not playing their, their starters throughout the preseason. Yeah. Seven and 12, not seven of 12. S- yeah, Lost seven, 12. Right. Woo. Not good. Against the spread and then yeah. six for 13 straight up. I wonder when that changes. Like, like when does the injury risk become less than the fact that you're just, just going to shit the bed week one? I, I mean, feel like there's probably a, an more, okay, happy medium in there. Yeah, for sure. They're going to do more inner squad practices. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, I just, yeah. I feel like less. They're saying probably at some point the preseason games themselves will go. Yeah, I have zero. De- I have zero desire to go to a preseason game. I'll watch it on TV I don't just because go it's, to one. But I'll yeah. watch it on TV. But that's because there's like, I'm just yearning for football at that point. All with the season tickets and yeah. the, all the dumb shit that they package up with it. They should just make it super cheap to go and just have for a nice, sure. good, rowdy, drunk time at the uh, preseason. <laughs> take the kids. Take the kids <laughs> and get. Take get the hammered. kids or get hammered. Take the kids a twelve pack, <laughs> a rolly cooler, foam fingers for everyone. Allen Robinson or Michael Thomas? Thomas? Michael Thomas, I think. Boom. Okay. Yeah, pretty easy there. Miles Sanders. Uh, how's Michael Thomas's health? Seems to be fine to me. Is he not practicing right now? I don't know. That'd be a good thing to look up. Uh, but he came in there, banged up, played through it. He did play, I think, you know, a little less snaps than potentially the elite number one would play. But he was also coming back from an injury and a hammy. Um, so uh, I think. To be, he'll be just fine and coming off of 22.7 and, and Michael Thomas was basically just a later round pick because of the unknown. He would have been kind of yeah. right up there. So it's a little bit of a, a Fugazi here on the on the stud list of the cheaper guys. Yeah. Um, not that A-Rob was, you know, super duper expensive, but pretty expensive. A lot more expensive than Michael Thomas. Yeah. I mean, and Thomas is still coming in off an injury, so... I had, I'm not seeing I'm anything, not seeing anything about of him getting injured either. Practice reports or anything. Yeah, so I'll, not playing. could pop up late. So could a Rob. Who knows? But I, I would say Michael Thomas. Yeah. Um, how about? Uh, seems like we're you know Curtis Samuel, a Rob, wide receiver 10, 21.2 points. I'm not ready to trust or 19 yet. point. Sorry, wide receiver 13, 19.2 points. That's a yeah. lot, and it looked great, and I'm excited if I have Curtis and in I have the preseason a little bit of Curtis. before they got there. Wentz was hyping up that he was so excited to play with Curtis Samuel. That was he loves Curtis Samuel, loves his game, and it came right out week one and really came to fruition. But I have to agree. Yeah, I'm probably sticking with A Rob. All right, let's let's say that A Rob was your flex instead of the wide receiver position. Uh, would you rather play A Rob or Henderson? Henderson, uh, RB 21, 12.3 points, playing the same Atlanta, staying at home. What do you think? It's I think, tough, huh? That's I think, a tough one. I think I might go A Rob just because I feel like I'm not. We we got a, an odd amount of Henderson use week one. Yeah, I feel like maybe it might middle out here. If it doesn't, all of a sudden, you know, big green light for for Henderson for me. Sure, I think. Sure. Um, Henderson played 82 percent of the snaps compared to 18 percent. I'm Cam sure Akers. we'll put Henderson up against some more guys as we go here, um, but. I think, I think I'm going to stick with A Rob for another week. A 78% route participation for Henderson. People are all about the route participation right now. Well, yeah, they were down the whole second half. Yeah, and he was he was he looked good doing it. Um, yeah, probably safer floor for Hendo right now. Yeah, until until it's a 50-50 Can share I with see him and Acres. Matt one. Stafford, right? If Acres had showed anything more than three carries. Right. Well, they didn't give him a chance to show anything on those three. Ca- did you know St- Acres had? They Akers didn't give had him a chance to show anything. What Akers is that? had, and, and did you see that Miss Blitz pickup? Ooh, that's <laughs> got a way into it, right? Acres broke two tackles and had eight yards after contact and had zero yards. Yeah, I mean, it's, we kind of talked about blew this a little a blitz bit. Pickup too. He, he did so blow, fucking what? He, he blew that's one a big, blitz. That's I a understand big happens deal. one time, but you're not gonna you're not gonna crucify the guy. He did. They blow, basically did crucified there, him but, in the game. All it's sometimes it's unfortunate because of of the opportunities that you, when he got the ball there was almost every time he was being there was somebody right on him yeah. almost immediately and that one play that he did get the ball and Stafford threw it backwards to him it was the play was right. completely dead he should have just so some drop the ball some positivity and that negativity but that is you know uh, 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 missing a blitz pickup definitely not good um, you know, Henderson probably not super clean in that area I think in that I think in that circumstance Akers made as we said to Cam Newton in that Super Bowl he made a business decision there yeah um 
so I, I think I'd be sticking with a Rob, but it seems like maybe if you, if you're feeling super uncomfortable because you're all in one after week one from playing a Rob, I guess I could say, okay, if this is your flex, maybe in half PPR where the wide receivers take a little bit of a ding. Yeah. It wouldn't take much for, for still a good touchdown candidate. In seems like that was a pretty good game from Henderson and, and he had 12 points and it was a terrible game from a Rob and he had two points. Obviously, yeah. that's nothing, but like it wouldn't take very much for A Rob to have twelve points. No, um, and no, no real targets on the field. So I, I think I would stick with A Rob here. Yes. Um, anybody else you want to throw up against A Rob right now? Um, How about uh, C E H? Mm, good one. Give me C E H. The, All of the who, Thursday, who the Thursday have, on uh, the short week. I think I'm still taking A Rob there because <sighs> good Chargers D. Good Chargers D. Thursday short week. Edwards Hilaire actually was second in snaps for the Chiefs. Right. Well, they got up so sure. fast. Yeah. Um, yeah. So tough to, to Pacheco. Tough to is that there. what? But I would. I'd flex. Them? No, it was uh, McKinnon. Mm. I'd flex Ceh in that regard. There. Um. You're, you're going a Rob. Still Only eight carries with and three targets. I could go a Rob. I'm there. sticking with a Rob. I'm still sticking with a okay. Rob. I think the two touchdowns helped. The old Clydesdale. Well, sure. But um, the red zone usage was a big uh, plus. Obviously, you know? yeah. All right, last one. Uh, Miles Sanders, A-Rob. Who do the Eagles, Eagles have? Eagles Minnesota. have Minnesota. Miles was RB13, 18.5 points. I still think I'm I'm sticking with A-Rob still because of the, cl- the murkiness of the Eagles backfield. I could be okay with that for another week. I've got to give A Rob the probably putting A Rob in my wide receiver spot and trying to maybe get yeah Sanders in my RB two spot yeah um, so maybe this isn't necessarily a decision that you have to make but just for kicks I think I would take the running back okay give me the guy getting thirteen carries plus some receptions they got Minnesota so could be a decent chance that there's some points scored there that mini D looked pretty good yeah and that Eagles D did not look great. Not in the second. Maybe the Lions O looked good. <laughs> <laughs> Top 15, Jared uh, Goff. Biting kneecaps. All right, next guy, C.D. Lamb on the dud list. Wide receiver 75, 4.9. Had 11 targets, though. Uh, and to note, um, they have Cincy this week at home. Last time Cooper Rush played, eight targets for C.D., six receptions and 112 yards with Cooper Rush last year versus the Vikings uh, in the you, game. You got the – what was that again? Uh, eight targets, six receptions, 112 yards. Fire him run. up. Yeah, I don't think you're sitting CD for Just play CD Lamb. Yeah, just I, play him. Agree. Yeah. Gallup's Agreed. not playing again this week. So no re- I don't. We don't need to run through anything no. for that. I no. think it's fire him up. I mean, you took him at the end of the first, beginning of the second round. Yeah. 11 targets last week. He had some decent targets with Cooper Rush yeah. last year. And in, in the only sample we have, small sample, but still the sample. <laughs> um, Mooney, uh, wider saver, 111, 1. 1.8 yards. Or 1.8 uh, points per game so far. Uh, it's because he only played one game. Obviously, Trash game. Terrible conditions. Yeah. Can't really take much away from that game. Uh, playing Green Bay. Still, are they G- alexander uh, I believe they're going to be alexander Lisses. I think he's on the IR. Or Pup or whatever. You- I'll check it out. So, for Tracy me. Tracy Jim. Check it out. For me, in a lot of cases, it's Fire and Mooney up uh, on just about any of these. Uh, would you play Mooney or Michael Thomas? Mm. Empty. I think you got to go Michael Thomas. I think Michael Thomas is a must start. I've got to put him on the must start list. I think that's fair. More to follow. I think that's fair. I think you're in a good situation if you got to decide between Mooney and Michael Thomas. Um, Mooney or hmm, Christian Kirk. Wide receiver 19, 17.7 uh, Fantasy points last week. Led the team in targets late. Christian Kirk's got to be a must start. You guys love Christian Kirk. Fire him up. He he's This is a new love affair for him. It is. Sometimes that new love is, is the, the worst kind. <laughs> You're in the honeymoon phase still. <laughs> well, he did nothing but reward me on week one. I'm sticking with Mooney there. He, yeah. I, I think Mooney's going to should yeah. lead the team in targets every single week on in most occasions. And I, I like the talent of Mooney better than Kirk. Yes. Um, Green Bay, probably trying to bounce back a little bit. Um, yeah. Indy has not played well against Jacksonville in the last few matchups. Yeah, I think I'm sticking with Mooney. I'd go Mooney there for sure. 
You're going Kirk? Yeah, let me get Kirk. Let me get the guy that just got 12 targets. Yeah. Like, oh, well, how on. many points do you get for getting the week? How many points do you get in week two for the how many points you got in week one? Remind me about that. Well, hopefully not. Not hopefully that doesn't correlate for Mooney's sake, right? Yeah. Well, that's exactly. You know, I th- well, my I, man got twelve. I think Mooney's going to be right up in there, right up in that ass. Uh, Rushing eight dots with with targets for. Give the, me Trevor for the over Justin week. Fields. I think A Rod is going to come out on There's a mission, more. trying to score points. The Bears are probably going to be chasing because yeah. it's not going to be a monsoon. There's more weapons for. Probably better weapons on the Jags to f- take some of the focus off. Well, of that's not Kirk. Whereas Mooney's the only guy you have to worry about with the Bears. And Komet and Monty. Komet had like what? Well, that's a bad, had, bad sample size. He had a whopping zero points. He had a zero, which not good for our. But bet. how many targets? Just one. It's bad targets. Like there was only eight yeah. catches. The whole every target around. in that right. game was bad, bad sample size, except for a Pettis. Yeah, I'm sticking with Mooney pretty much. I think Mooney's probably a, a must Thomas, start. But. But I also think Christian Kirk's probably must start. Ooh, all right. So yeah. flip a coin. I think it. But give me the guy that just yeah. had 117 yards and 12 targets. Come on. All right. Uh, you want to throw him up against any running backs, or do you want to keep it moving? Um. Mooney or Henderson. Henderson's a good one to, to Mooney, put that's, up against that's all that's these Mooney people. for me. Yeah. I guess it's pretty much Mooney over all these guys. I hate Daryl Henderson. I, so the so the list of of running backs that we kind of have that we're going to be throwing a bunch of guys up against just to see what sticks: C. Pat, Cordero Patterson, J. Rob Hendo, C. E. H. Michael Carter, Burkhead Miles, and uh, A. J. Dillon. Yeah, A. J. Dillon could possibly be in the mix slightly, but C. Pat would be the guy. Cordero Patterson would be the only guy that I think. Could possibly bump me out of maybe wanting to play Mooney just because of week one, but I think I'm pretty much locking in Mooney. Yeah, I'm probably pretty hard not to play. CPAT's like pretty much a must start for me. I mean, I have zero CPAT, so I don't have to make that decision anywhere. So, right. Um, I got some best ball CPAT, the course best you do. CPAT ball. Then you have to worry about setting a lineup. I know, it's great. I need to get to more best ball. That's where it's at. Fuck setting lineups. It's a crap shoot. It is. Don't at me, you know? If I'm wrong about this, cause, and you listen to me, you know? Make your own decisions. You can at me. I'll just tell at you me. KGFY. Dynasty Big Co. Just kindly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Brandon Ayuk, week one, same same kind Ooh. of game as, as Mooney. Wide exact receiver. Exact same game, actually. Wide receiver six. Uh, wide receiver 63, 6.7 PPR points. Uh, they got Seattle this week. In San Fran. Um, Fire him up. Yeah. Ayuk or Jarvis? Hmm. Is Kittle playing? Doesn't, he didn't practice today, so. That's a coin toss. Yeah, I think that one's close for me. Ayuk. I think I'm going to take Ayuk because I like the talent. But if Kittle plays, I think. Ayuk looks so good to start that game. You yeah, thought it was like, oh, about- fuck. Ayuk season, yeah, baby. Yeah. And then. The rain, and then, like, and then, nah. yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. And he's gonna get some rushing attempts. Mitchell's out. They're bringing in all. They brought in like six running backs because they don't. Well, they signed Marlon Mack to the practice squad, right? But they they brought in like all these dudes just to yeah. look at him, which is like doesn't just put <laughs> just look at him. Doesn't put a bunch Sometimes of confidence all you can do. in the guys they currently have, and the fact that they go, they're just like Mitchell's out. Let's give it to Debo, but. Maybe we want to take some off of Debo. Let's give it to Ayuk some. So maybe he gets a few more rushing attempts. Lance loves him. Big bounce back game for the 49ers in general. Let's go Ayuk, baby. Definitely for some upside. Yeah. I'll take Ayuk. He played, you know, mostly all the snaps yeah. last week. Yeah. Um, not worried about his... No. Not worried about his um, uh, use... About his I think ability to... The Niners are going to come out with something to prove. Obviously, Seattle... Coming off a pretty emotional game, there could be could be slightly down. I mean, obviously it's an in division game, and the, the Seahawks have typically had the 49ers number, uh, but no Russell. And like I said, big game on Monday night coming yeah. off of the short week, short little bit of a short week for sure. Uh, but probably spent a lot of uh, week one juice on that one. And whereas the Niners are probably are kind of coming off of like. Salty, yeah. uh, so I'm, I'm gonna I'll, I'll go I'll go Ayuk in there. Jameis a little banged up. Yeah, uh, I'll stick with also the Tampa defense. 
All right, Ayuk or um, Curtis Samuel? Ayuk. Ayuk. All right, Ayuk or Kirk? Ooh. Kirk's must start. Ayuk might be a must start. I don't. This is our first time trying to do must starts, which is, we're gonna come out with another video, possibly depending on how night tonight goes. Five must start wide receivers, you know. <laughs> uh, and so I guess you kind of you have to pick like lower end guys. Sure. Like I can't be, I yeah. can't put Justin Jefferson on my must start <laughs> list. <laughs> right? No shit. Uh, but CD Lamb, Devontae that is, Adams, right? Set him. So is Ayuk a must start? And Kurt, I, yeah. I don't know that I accident him a must start, but I think he's a most likely start. Yeah. Can't hurt to start. <laughs> I'm starting Ayuk over Kirk. Yeah, agreed. Really? Let's go. I mean Let me get Kirk. I got a Jaguars colored shirt on. All right. So let me get the number one dude. Yeah, I mean, it's not, it's, I, there's probably 12 targets, 117 there's some, yards. There's probably some safety week after week with Kirk of, yeah. of volume. Mm. Um, but that's what we're hoping that Ayuk will kind of yeah. get to. I think the maybe the targets per will be a little more valuable in San Francisco than in Jacksonville. They better um, be. Also, there, should be be less a, there shouldn't be a monsoon in right. the Right. That would be unfortunate. Games. Very unfortunate if there was a San Fran monsoon. San Fran monsoon. <laughs> Global um, warming. All right. Amari Cooper. Uh, wide receiver 79, 4.7 yards playing the Jets in Cleveland. Um, or Curtis Samuel this week. Mm. Mm. Let's go Amari Cooper. Yeah, Amari Cooper, but. Amari didn't Cooper. sound very good about no. that. No. Uh, if you, if you didn't watch the game, Amari Cooper was open, very good, very strong. He was open, good. He was very good. He was very strong. Um, <laughs> just it didn't work out though. Uh, it didn't work score. out, and it may it may be up and down with Brissett there. Did Brissett didn't look particularly strong uh, throughout? So I or uh, Amari's giving you some pause to probably start week after week. You know who did look good though? Who's that? DPJ Donovan Peoples Jones. Um, Amari probably a nice little trade target in Dynasty for you. Redraft, you know, you're going to have to wait too long for him to really be week after week Playoff relevant, season, probably. Baby. Yeah. Um, so I think I think I'd, I might I might roll Curtis Samuel over up. Amari Cooper. I week. think I'm going to stick with Cooper for another week. It's yeah, it's just going to be a, such a roller coaster, man. I like the I like I love the trading for Amari Cooper because I know the talent's there. Um, yeah. We'll see. I'd like to see there's, you know, like to see how the, ta- the 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 targets break down this week. Um, about to maybe get a little Sauce Gardner though. Man, eight for ten for Curtis Samuel. Eight of ten. Some handoffs. I think I might roll Curtis Samuel in this one. But I can I can get down Let with me the get Cooper. Yeah, you guys take both Cooper. going to Mari Cooper. Yep. yep. Um, let's sticking see with the here. duds here for the most part because I don't think I'm going to yeah. react too much from week one. Jarvis or Cooper. Ooh, I guess let's go Cooper. Yeah, I'm sticking. Yeah. Is Jarvis a must bench based on us taking everybody over Jarvis? I might play Jarvis. I mean, they're basically the same player. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm already more explosive, but. Marginally. When he's not hurt. All right, DJ Moore, uh, wide yes. receiver uh, 58, 8.0 8. Uh, total points last week playing at New York. G- I'm the playing G- him over. Man. I'm playing him over everyone you're going to say. Michael Thomas? We're going DJ Moore on this one is what you said? Mm-hmm. Mm. Michael Thomas must start, baby. Yeah, Michael Thomas must start. But other than that, if you're deciding between MT and DJ Moore, you're you're probably one to know. I mean, I'm starting Michael Thomas over DJ Moore. Yeah. And um, we're going to go back to the well with Jarvis here. Just told you my answer. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. You probably got to play DJ Moore. Um, I did ever find the MT's slot percentage was way down with Jarvis in the game. Michael Thomas? <clears throat> yeah. yeah. Yeah, Michael Thomas' slot percentage was way down. But then back shoulder fade percentages were up from <laughs> the last couple of years. <laughs> I guess we're not going to have slant guard Mike if he's not playing on the slot. You can run slants from the outside. Can't stand Mike. You can definitely run slants 
from anywhere, but maybe not slot slant, Mike. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, so you guys are pretty heavy on DJ Moore here. Oh, for sure. All right. Let's go Devonta Smith. Oh, bench him. Zero points. Didn't register on the wide Trade receiver Trade for him in Dynasty. Bench him in your regular season. Um, Must bench. Must bench. Robbie really? Anderson or Devonta Smith. Robbie Anderson, wide receiver 10, 21.2 points last week, playing the G-Men. Uh, give me Smith, but I don't really want to start either of them. Okay. Eagles have Minnesota. Jahan Dotson, Devonta Smith. Dotson. Dotson, 18 points, wide receiver 17 last week. Fuck it, give me Dotson. All right. I'd rather have Dotson over Samuel just so we're just so we're on the same page. You'd rather start Dotson over Samuel? Yeah. So DJ Moore, Dotson. DJ Moore. DJ Moore. Amari Cooper or Dotson? Mari Cooper. Uh, I think so. I agree. <laughs> da, 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 yeah. Da, da, yeah. Da, da. yeah, give me Amari. Yeah, give me Amari. But I'm pausing there. All right. For sure. Devonta Smith or... Miles hmm. Sanders. Miles Sanders. That's too <laughs> Zay easy. Zay Jones? That's a good one. Wide receiver 32, 12.5 yeah, points. Yeah, I'm starting Devonta still. Christian okay. Kirk? Ah, Kirk. 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 Yeah. Give me Kirk. All right. Must start Kirk. Not, not a must start. DeAndre sure. Carter no. without Keenan Allen. Wide receiver 21, 15.4 points per game. Thursday no versus the Chiefs. No way. Yeah. I'm Get rid of it. Are the Clippers on the road? The no, Clippers. they're at home. NBA? Mm-hmm. Every time I see LAC, I think of the Clippers. They're, no, they're on the road. Because CEH has the Clippers at home. So Clippers are on. Do it's not, the fucking Chargers. Do not start DeAndre Carter yeah. on the road on Thursday night. Mm-hmm. No thanks. Okay. Maybe in a 16 team. Um, Michael Carter, Devonta Smith. RB 14, 17 points last week at Cleveland. Leading that backfield last week. A lot of check a down staunch points. Staunch defense there with Cleveland. Checking the numbers here. Hold on. Well, the thing was, Give Michael me. Carter had a pretty big drop, and then that's when it kind of shifted to Brees a little bit. Give me whoever the guy who you said wasn't Michael Carter. Devonta Smith? Yeah. All right. So we're th- you, you guys you guys are really banking on the bounce back of Devonta Smith? No. I'm, I'm, I'm probably I benching I Michael Carter. Devonta Smith this week, pretty much over a, a lot of those guys that we just mentioned. Yeah. I think I, I want to see it. Yeah. And it probably will happen, and I'm not anti-Devonta Smith by any means. I think he's a very good player. I think he'll be... Trade for him in Dynasty. Just fine. I think he's a lot better than... He's much, much, much better than what we've seen from him. He gets open. Um, but, yeah, I mean, I'm fine with it saying trade for him in Dynasty. Maybe maybe um, uh, Devonta just got, to, got locked up by my boy Amani Ar- Aruwarie. Maybe so. How about uh, J-Rob or uh, Devonta Smith? J-Rob. J Rob, oh, you flipped that sw- switch pretty quick. <laughs> what? You going J Rob over Amari or over uh, Devonta Smith? You just said that you were benching him over most of these guys, and I was like, yeah, I agree. Like, I just took Michael Carter. I don't know if I've said Devonte over one of those guys yet. Maybe Zay Jones. I could see taking taking Devonte over J- Zay Jones, but I'll play Devonte over Zay Jones. But what about but but all those other J-Rob? wide receivers that we said? J Rob, I'll play J Rob. Yeah, that feels easy. Who did Washington play last week? The, the Jags. The Jags. Sure, give me J-Rob. All right. Um, let's move into some running backs. Let's go Alvin Kamara, running back 45, 7.6, bit of a dud, playing Tampa this week. Or let's go right back to J-Rob well. Wait, you said Alvin Kamara? Yeah. We got to fire up Alvin I'm Kamara. St- Kamara still must put him on the must start list. Must start list. Oh yeah. yeah. Mm. Little angsty there. I don't know. I might. Uh, I might go J Rob. No. No way. No way. Okay. No way. okay. All right. <laughs> hey. Hey. GTFO. 
So Alvin Kamara or Cordero Patterson then? CPAT for me, easy, done. Easy, done. 22 carries for CPAT. Good game script for CPAT. It just feels gross to it do feels that, though, super right? Gross. It Too feels easy ba- for you? It you just feels said, boom. Very gross. Easy. Easy for me. Because of the possible injury that he's dealing with? No, just because CPAT just got all the work and looked great. Like I'm, Which Damian Williams went out early in that game. Whatever. I don't, it doesn't matter. Damian Williams is questionable now. It might not play. Yeah. You know who's going to play then? <laughs> Fucking Tyler Algier. Maybe, That's who's going to play. Maybe so, but CPAT just. Was awesome last year. He was like RB fucking five for most of the year. Like, I'm I'm rolling CPAT, baby. The disrespect is. Yeah, I'm still starting Kamara. You can do what you want. He's the new Kamara. <laughs> yeah, at 31 years old. Whatever. He's a new old Kamara. I can't be mad. He's starting CPAT over Kamara. I can't. I can't be mad either. But I just it just feels gross. You probably don't have somebody else that AJ you can Dillon start. or Kamara. AJ Dillon RB nine twenty. Point one points. Packers have playing the Chicago. Chicago Bears. Chicago. Hmm. I think Kamara. I, I'm fine with saying s- sticking with Alvin Kamara there, but I'm I'm and you know the usage was really was was pretty decent for Alvin Kamara. It wasn't yeah. it wasn't terrible. It wasn't anything to be super concerned with. Um, and he definitely could easily bounce back. I'm not saying that I'd bench Kamara for a whole bunch of guys. I'm just I liked. I like CPAT and J Rob. The lack of the lack of passing utilization for Kamar was a bit. He played sixty three percent of the snaps, a forty three percent route participation, four targets, only three catches for seven yards. Like that'll never happen again. 39, only nine attempts. Thirty nine percent pass block rate. I mean, you got to be able to pass pass protect. Which Look that's at you guys. That's why he Look doesn't have guys. Good job. That's why he doesn't have a, a, a higher route participation because he was pass blocking, which that makes sense for running backs. I don't I, like I want to know the what route participation. He, what is he, he going to be doing if he's not pass blocking or, or, or run block or pass blocking or running a route? Just standing there. I don't understand the question. I mean, was yeah, it? I think it was more of a statement than a question. I'm saying I mentioned the low pass yeah. route, and yeah. then you brought the other side, the other half of that stat. Well, well, yes, I'm so, yeah, correct. And then All you're right. mad at me. Well, I said it well, first. I don't think anybody was mad at anybody. Well, was AJ pretty, Dillon, I'm pretty mad. Yeah. AJ Dillon or Alvin Kamara? Uh, I'm still starting Kamara. Kamara. AJ Dillon, you know, caught more passes than uh, AJ Dillon looked awesome. AJ Dillon looked great. Gonna get for sure the goal line work. Very negative. For sure, very the goal negative line game. For sure, the goal line work. I wouldn't inside say that for five, sure. Inside that five, he's gonna through. If we if we extrapolate this through the season, the percentage of I'm not saying what what he did this You're week. Extrapolating I'm extrapolating week one. I'm not. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, just, no, no I'm not even 17. using that. I'm just saying yeah. if, if we went to the seventh week, seventeen, regardless of what happened this past week, I'm saying he. I'm gonna say that he has at least twenty percent more of the red zone carries than twenty to even thirty percent more of the red zone carries than. Uh, Inside the five, let's say. Then that's not a for sure. Do we have like red zone stats here on PFF? I don't. I don't know where to go find that. Oh, it seems like you should play Alvin Kamara, but I'm leaning towards playing AJ Dillon. I think AJ Dillon might be a must start. He's getting close. You gotta you gotta go out on a limb here a little it's, bit it's, with the must start. Like I said, outside of CPAT, I would probably play Alvin Kamara over most of those guys because it does feel like Alvin Kamara could finish his RB two next week and nobody would be surprised. Yeah, it's as, week one as the RB two. Right. Yeah. Yeah, not an RB two at the RB two. Correct. Um, so AJ Dillon though, nice week one. We don't know if Lazard will be back. Seems, it matter. just seems really safe to play AJ Dillon, but you should probably stick with Kamara. But I might, I might just, yeah, I, might, probably, I might put AJ Dillon in. Probably and find CPAT. a way to get both those guys. In my bet. Kamara's my limited lineup. with the rib injury. That's what kind of limited him in the game. Okay. Uh, he's limited on Wednesday's practice. But he's limited. He's limited on the first practice of the week. He's going to play. Not the worst injury to have. It's. I could see that being worse the, the day of the game than next a, week. Get him a flak jacket and we're good to go. But monitor that throughout the week. Uh, and through, and th- yeah. But 
If you have, if 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 the rest of your team is stacked and you're choosing between Alvin Kamara and AJ Dillon, way to go. Yeah, David Probably Montgomery, both of them. RB forty one, eight points. A lot of usage though. Yeah, good usage. It was a lot of usage. <laughs> um, Montgomery or we could go Miles Sanders. I'm still taking Monty. Still taking Monty. Let's go, yeah. David. David. David, David, <laughs> David. <laughs> I gotta call my mother. Well, Independence Day. Yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep. Yep. Uh, yep. Got it. Who else? Um. Who? What did you? Would you? You? You went David. You sticking with David? AJ Dillon or David? Ooh. It's a good problem to have there, but I th- playing each other. Man, give me flip Mo- a coin. Give me Monty slightly because I think I'll take that passing game work. Flip a coin. Herbert coming in for some possible interruption here. Of, of I'd love to say di- I'd love to say Monty, but I think half of Green Bay's offense is better than three fourths of Se- Chicago seven eighths <laughs> offense. I mean, I think Herbert's going to work in. I mean, but, I, but I don't trust Herbert to be on the field if Chicago's behind. So Dylan, I could be fine with rolling Dylan this week, but there's there, on this running back list. There's probably not a whole lot of guys that I would play over him. Hendo or Monty, probably Monty, Monty for Monty, me. Yeah, Monty, J. Rob or Monty, Monty. Um, I'd stick, Monty. I'd go Monty too. Um, C. E. H. Montgomery. I could take mm. the Clydes. Mm. I could take Clyde. Just the offense, you know? Let me see Monty get back in there doing his thing. I don't think I can bench. I don't think I can. I think Monty still must start for me. Okay. I, I could get down with that. I don't think I'm going to bench him yet. I, I'll, I'll go with Montgomery with you on that one, too. Um, all right, let's go to ET. RB 37, 8.5. Drop the touchdown pass. Overthrown the touchdown pass. Great passing down work it usage. You know, kind of flip flopped on the running actual ball and gut usage there with with J Rob. Was PFF's most elusive runner in week one. Looks really good with the ball in his hand. So would you rather play E. T. or Devonta Smith? E. T. Yeah, I'm gonna think about E. T. there. E. T. or Amari Cooper. E. T. Agreed. I think the upside's with ETN. DJ Moore, ETN. DJ Moore. Yeah, I guess. That doesn't feel that fun playing DJ Moore. ETN or J-Rob? That's a good one. That's it. That's That's the question. That's the question right there, yeah. Because you might have drafted both of them. Yeah. Hopefully. It feels like you probably got to go J-Rob. But the pass, it could could so easily switch with... It could have been so much different, you know? Because if ET catches that ball, maybe J Rob doesn't get that touchdown. I can't remember if that was the no, exact it was different, series or different not. Different series is, is yeah. Um, but maybe uh, ET stays getting all the passing work for if the most part, a, and they don't even throw it to J Rob in that situation. But the fact that he had already dropped one, although Trevor did miss him on one, so they were kind of even. Um, but you know, if 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 Trevor hits him on that, if he catches two touchdowns, I mean, we're fucking so ecstatic this week about. Et and the whole narrative, you know, swapped around. Sure, maybe um, not swap, but we're right. It's still very impressive what J. Rob did. Yeah, it seems like you should go with J. Rob this week out of safety. Is a floor with a Rob or J. Rob? Yeah, maybe a little safer. There's just still a little bit of doubt in my mind that J. Rob's actually back in that. Like, I think I think based on the capital you took them in the in the draft, I I understand that only gets you so far, but. I mean, you're probably taking yeah, after about this week, you probably got to get rid of that notion. For sure, for sure. I'm just it's still yeah, week two. It's still I agree. Early. Fine, that's that's fair. You probably took Etn in the late second, early third. third maybe, maybe you got to got him late third. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it's full point PPR, I could say get down with EP Et anything less than that. Probably going J Rob. Um, J Rob or uh, Etn or hmm. Let's see here. AJ Dillon. That's a good AJ Dillon. I think I'm going to take Dillon there. Yeah, I guess you got to take Dillon. 
Dylan looks so good. ETN or Edmonds? Edmonds got good usage, but ET, the points weren't great. ETN. ET. Okay. ETN or Josh Jacobs? Mm. Got a lot of the usage for Josh Jacobs. Just wasn't a ton of usage. When they used that him, was, it was awesome. Was good. When they used him, it was lines, good. Lines s- Bolden's sketchy at best. hurt, right? That's got to help. I don't know. Did Abdullah go on IR? Somebody's hurt over there. Somebody got hurt in the game. I'm probably... I'm, it wasn't Samir White. It was not. I don't know if he was a healthy... He was a healthy and active. Yeah. I might roll E.T. for another week, but that's t- that's a coin flip for me between him and Jacobs. It's getting close there. I think Jacobs should be the guy, take over this backfield, and eventually just earn being uh, an every week starter. Yeah, I mean, especially if Oakland doesn't know what they want to do with him, just beat the piss out of him, and then right. Let figure him what go. you have him for the end of the year. Right, and he's good, and I think he'll, he like he's performs every time you give him the ball. That's a coin flip for me. Abdullah didn't register a touch Bolden left the game with a hamstring injury never didn't return and he is not practicing at all Wednesday Jacobs give me Jacobs yeah kill him <laughs> Jacobs over what if he shot you in the head Jacob. yeah what if he shot me in the head Jacobs over ET <laughs> Jacobs yeah I'll take Jacobs fuck it Jacobs playing Arizona give me Jacobs yeah I'm fine taking Jacobs the, the, I'm the fine. I'm, I'm Derek fine. Car, bad Derek Carr game week one. I feel like Arizona, they could at least get right with scoring some decent points. I'm fine with you taking whoever's in, whoever's in your heart. Thank you. It's very kind of you. Um, Najee Harris coming in a little banged up here. Uh, RB 29, 10.6 play in New England. Or if he plays, you got to play yeah, him. Yeah, he plays, you got to play him. Just, simple, just, just we can just stop there. Start your studs. If he plays, you got to play him. Mm-hmm. But pick up Jalen Warren on the Not your CPAT. <laughs> Fuck you. Come on. Woo! <laughs> you are not Let's playing. Let's go. You are not playing CPAT. Let's ever. go. I mean, I fucking Najee's limped off the goddamn field. Week one. Talking about Jalen Warren. He didn't. Pe- hey. He said he's You know who play. didn't limp off the field? CPAT. He, hey. Last week. Mike Tomlin said Jalen Warren did not urinate down his leg. <laughs> That's fine. His own leg or Tomlin's leg? I'm confused. You pick. You pick. Guess what I'm doing, boys? Starting seat pad. Woo! I couldn't do it. Yeah, mm. I couldn't do it either. I'll find a way to get CPAT in my right lineup. I'll find without, a way to trade CPAT without taking <laughs> Snaji out. Let's go. All right. I don't. I mean, it's not fun. It's not great. It's a foot injury. Like. Yeah, that's problematic. It's the, a, I think he had the foot injury coming house, in. Yeah. It wasn't great week one. Caught the touchdown, saved your day. Now exits game. Just there's some uncertainty there. Again, pick up Jalen Warren. Normally would say E.T. or uh, Harris un, unparalleled. Got to play him. But, you know, a little rocky coming into week two there. So, I, I mean, mean if he hope- plays, I get it. But I mean, you got to be hoping that... Um, CPAT catches C Pat catches five six balls, which doesn't seem out of the realm of possibility. Seems very possible. Yeah. Probable. Especially with Jalen Ramsey probably locked into Pitts. Yeah, or or uh or Drake. No, they're gonna put no, I would imagine well, they're gonna have Ramsey. I don't know, Ramsey's not a follower anymore. I think he just kind of Yeah, but he plays in the star it, position, which is in the slot. Yeah, sure. If Najee registers a full practice this week. I think you're good. If he's limited, then you want to go see Pat. I can, I'm not going to be mad at you. Fair enough. I'm probably going to be mad at you. We can be mad. You starting Brees Hall this week? Based on where I had to take him, I don't know how you can do much Are better. Are you starting Brees so, Hall this week? So, so I had him. I got him on the dud list. He's, Who are we going to take him out for? pretty much almost about the most points on this dud list. RB33, but it's basically that was more of a cost against yeah. especially and he, and he dynasty great receiving work right some good in the receiving game they obviously the jets have started with a one hand not tied behind their back yeah with joe um, flacco and, and no makai back then um and then losing uh who's the yeah tackle? dwayne brown yep. dwayne brown, brown yeah uh which you know probably wasn't going to be great but better than probably what they got i think they got a rookie in there now um so, Brees Hall this week or Michael Carter? Brees Hall. Feels like you got to go Michael Carter if you have the option. Mm. Mm. Who the Jets have? 
Cleveland. Uh, Cleveland. In New York. Give me Brees, man. I mean, give me Brees. Mm. Can I take neither? <laughs> well, CPAT. <laughs> well, sure. Yeah, CPAT. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. You start sure. Miles Sanders over Brees? Yes. Henderson over Brees? Mm. Mm. Brees. I'm proud of my co Brees, too. Just, that just feels. Feels better. It doesn't feel bad starting Brees. Feels so good. <laughs> <laughs> feels so good when he jokes. Two uh, weeks in a row. Two nights in a row. Why do you hate Henderson? I don't I hate understand him since that. he was in Memphis. But see, you got to get over that and why, like you can't just that's take that's called take lock. You have how much time you got, buddy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. I am hating your heart later now. He's not a good running back. Uh, that, you, come on, man. He's looked good in the NFL. When he's not, when what? he's healthy, all he's done is produce. I can feel it down in my, my plums. plums. Yeah, when, exactly. When he's when he's healthy, he's produced. Barely. What do you mean barely? He been gets very what's, startable. He gets what's blocked. Nah, my man comes around the edge with a, yeah, a semi-linear bendy curvy movement. Definitely, Don't yeah. let the liberal media tell you how to think and feel. Exactly. I feel like I could go either side with that one. I'm not the liberal media. <laughs> oh, it's, to, they, ne- they never think they are. <laughs> oh, I'm the liberal. Oh, I'm the liberal media. Well, That's I guess fine. if you're not Fox News, you're the liberal media. But I'm considering starting Hendo over Brees fucking Hall here, and I'm definitely not like Fox you. News. So, yeah, what's the what's I'm uh, MSNBC. Uh, Fair and back. I gotta go BBC. Let's go BBC. Yeah, you are the BBC. You are about the BBC. Yeah, he is. Um, I feel like that's a sexual yeah, it is. <laughs> reference that I'm not giving. Because well, if you did, you would have already just went just just right over there. It could have just sit in the ether. Is it is it big? Is the first? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the last one is South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. I could guess that middle okay. one. Okay. <laughs> All right. So. What are we doing about Damian Pierce this week, no boys? No problem with BBC. Not starting him. We're benching him. Who? Yeah, Damian Pierce. Damian Pierce BBC's. or DeAndre Carter. <laughs> DeAndre Carter, man. Let me get. Uh, let me get. Let me get. Let me get Pierce. We haven't gone that far down the list here. Let me get Pierce. Oh, uh, Lovey Smith was like reluctant to name him the starter. Now he's like, yeah, we fucked up. We should have given him more work. I don't know what happened. Who were they playing this week? Um, they have Denver. Or no, sorry. Yeah, at Denver. Let me get Damien. I'm taking Damien because I'm not yeah, playing Jandre Carter. Carter. Too easy. Yeah. Okay. Make da- it harder. Okay. Harder. Yeah, make it harder. Damien Pierce make or it Chark? Harder. BBC's Chark. Chark. Chark or Damien? Mm-hmm. Let me get Damien. Chark or Duvernay? Or sorry, uh, Damien Pierce or Duvernay? Pierce. Pierce. Greed. Um, Robbie Anderson, Duvernay. Pierce. Or Robbie Anderson, Pierce. Pierce. <sighs> Seppuku. <laughs> Pierce. Robbie Anderson, or uh, sorry, Damian Pierce or Tyler Boyd, if no Higby. Boyd. You mean no uh, uh, Higgins. Higgins, sorry. Higgins got a limited practice in, so I think he's past the concussion protes, or he wouldn't be practicing. Did you hear the hypothetical? He said, if no Higgins. Yeah, but I don't think that's going to be the case. Well, so. I mean, but I mean, I think you, I think Tyler Boyd's a pretty good fire upable player. If there's no Greg well, Dortch, Pierce, Pierce. Pierce. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, Curtis, Pierce isn't a must start. Curtis Samuel always. or Pierce? Jesus, guys, what do we got here? Are we thinking about this one? I'm yeah, thinking about that. Uh, one. That made me. I didn't yeah. want to snap. Curtis Pierce. Samuel. Did, did Sammy get any? Did Curdy Curdy Sammy get any rushing attempts? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Chase Edmonds or Damian Pierce? It's Chase Edmonds. That's the answer. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Damian Pierce or Tony Pollard? That's Pierce. Tony Pollard, RB fifty six, four point two points. Backup quarterback coming in, playing Cincy. 
Give me Pollard. All right. James Cook or Pollard? James Cook or yep. Pollard? Yep. Ooh. I why, guess. Are we, why are we looking so funny? Why, why am I starting else. James Cook anywhere? Find someone else. I'm not starting. James Cook is a must bench. Well, DeAndre Carter. Yeah, James Cook or DeAndre <laughs> Carter is probably a better question. So definitely you guys are both playing Pollard over Cook? Yes. Okay. A hundred percent. I guess. DeAndre Carter? Or I'll find somebody else. <laughs> probably Carter. Yeah. Okay. I'm not starting James Cook anywhere. I'll okay. play Josh Palmer over. How about all right, Akers guys. then? Cam Akers or Damian Pierce? Pierce. Mm-hmm. Pierce is going to get some work. I don't know what ha- is going to happen with Akers. You can't be starting Akers right now. You got to wait for it. Yeah, wait to start Akers. There's start no Akers. way you can start Akers in any league. James Cook or Akers? That a- could be a real fucking problem Akers. for somebody. James Cook. Akers. Akers. I think I got to go Akers too. I guess you can start Akers over James Cook. You probably have somebody better. Tony than Pollard or Akers? Pollard. Okay. I guess Akers. You got what somebody a, better than those dudes. What so is there's your what is your what is your deal with Pollard? Cooper Rush, the Dallas Cowboys. In so general? he's gonna dink and dunk to Pollard. Maybe I think my, I'll say the issue with Pollard is that he's never really that usable. He's super right. unreliable for a he's starter. He's never position. usable, much less without a good quarterback. I can never understand the uh. huge infatuation with him. Now the infatuation for me this year is that if he was cheap enough. That I would buy him, and hopefully for once over the last three years, they might actually use him as a slot receiver and yeah. more in the passing game, which they didn't do week one. Yeah. Um, and Zeke should. looked really good. They should be featuring him more week one, um, which was silly and odd that they didn't, considering how much that offense was struggling. They got too fucking cute. Is is uh, Kellen, Kellen, uh, yes. Kellen Moore, is he, you think he's... Yes. He he was pretty hot. Mm, not hot anymore. Pretty cold, right? I not mean, hot in them streets. No. I don't know if Zeke looked great. Zeke did look fucking awesome. Zeke's just fine. I thought that's the best Zeke's looked in, well, since before he had the knee injury last year. There wasn't year. even a bunch of Twitter hate or Roto World hate on Zeke. That's how you know he's playing awesome. Yeah, there's I not any say hate. He was playing awesome. I was, he was absolutely playing awesome. He I looked mean, he's great. He played better than Pollard did, but. He looked fantastic. They just didn't give him the ball. They just sucked. They were behind. I mean, they just sucked, and they should have given him the ball. But it was pretty close for a while. I mean, uh, Micah Parsons kept him right in that game to only holding them to a couple field goals. Like, they were in that game. They should have just – it was just piss-poor execution getting too cute for the Dallas Cowboys. Um, So, Ezekiel Elliott or Alvin Kamara? Kamara. That's Zeke all day. I'm AK. still taking Kamara. I'll All take right. Kamara. I think the Cowboys are about to come out and run the dog shit out of the football week two. Um, Who, who's Dallas playing this week? Cincinnati. Um, Rashad. I don't, if, I don't know if they're going to be able to. Rashad Penny. Mm, Ken Walker's definitely playing this He's week. He's playing this week. Full participant practice today. Or, or Acres. Penny. Penny. Penny or Damian Pierce. Penny. Who the Seahawks have? Oh, the Niners. Niners. I'm still playing Penny. <sighs> Brees or Penny? Brees. Brees. Penny or Curtis Samuel? Curtis, let's go. Mm, Agreed. Give me Penny. Penny did look pretty good. Yeah, I think I think the Niners front is about to eat Seattle alive this week. Probably. Although I think uh, who's the Carolina? Why did game Penny cut? only get 12 attempts? What were you saying, Casey? Who was the uh, the Gamecock that the Niners drafted two years ago? Javon Kinlaw. I think he got hurt this week, mm. which is a bummer because they've been really waiting for him. But um, all right, anybody got anything else you guys want to throw out there? Are we playing? How much? What's the chances of playing a Devon Duvernay this week? Minimal. Agreed. Deep ass league must be super deep or super desperate. Greg Dortch not starting at all. How about getting Curtis Samuel into a lineup? I'd have to be desperate. You'd rather play Jahan Dotson? Yes, he played more. I think I'd probably rather play Jahan. Like, give me, let me, give me. But I'm not opposed to getting Curtis in there. I mean, you got three flexes and already dealing with some injuries. Like, Keenan's not playing. Uh, Akers is not startable. You know, I, I can see squeezing Curtis Samuel in somewhere. I'm not necessarily opposed to it. The question is, we 
asked tonight, I, I found the other guys more desirable, but. I mean, Dotson played four more snaps than Sam. Yeah, all, all those guys played around the same amount of snaps. Yeah, and I think that Washington's going to be in 11 personnel pretty consistently. Right. I just like the fact that week one, Curtis was, was pretty heavily targeted, kind of following up some statements that. that Take out played. last year. Right. You go to the year before that, and he's a 1,000-yard receiver, looking pretty damn good, like exactly who we thought he was coming out of Ohio State, right? Like a, a, an explosive, dynamic kind of guy. I think McLaurin t- kind of took a backseat week one. I think he probably steps back up week two. Very possible. How much tr- – you getting Chark in your lineup? I don't have to. I don't have They're to. They're playing Washington. Yeah. Probably not making my lineup. Maybe my DraftKings lineup, but not my redraft lineup. Man, who has time to do DraftKings? That's an admirable. <laughs> what else am I going to do when I'm taking a shit? <laughs> DJ Chark. Fair. Damian Pierce. Did we do that already? No. Damian. Yeah. Give me Damian. Yeah, I wanna I won't my plum says Damian, but my heart says let's go let's go Chark. Got I just feel like it, played a I lot. just feel like that th- that that third target on Detroit could go back Fair and forth enough. between Reynolds and Chark. You just need the uh, it's, all right, so or, how about maybe not even third, maybe fourth target. Is there any bur- chance Burkhead's in your lineup this week? Let's say you drafted a James Cook. Let's say you drafted an Acres. Yeah, I could play I him over both those guys in my sure. RB two spot. In my flex spot, I don't. I don't want to flex him, but in my RB two, if I'm desperate, if I'm super desperate, yeah. I don't really feel like flexing Rex Burkhead. I, I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm probably out on the Rex Burkhead start. I'm hoping that this this is they fucked up. Pierce is Pierce is coming out, and uh, about, they're about to get to see these numbers flip flop for Pierce and, and Burkhead. Um, but I would I would ride the bench for Pierce on a lot of options um, and yeah. just to see what happens. Uh, but I would plug him in over James Cook for sure. Yeah, I'm not starting James Cook. Literally, I'm not yeah. starting James Cook. You'd have to get pretty. I have a there. league that I just drafted, and I drafted pretty much no running backs, and I I drafted James Cook, and I'm playing. Uh, I drafted Brees Hall, and it was an auction league, so I rested. I grab grab Brees Hall and Carter, and I'm going to play Carter over James Cook. Yeah, and I'm playing Brees and Carter because I yeah. really don't have any w- running backs. I'm, yeah, I was going pretty much no running backs and a bunch of youth week year one, uh, so kind of knew that coming in. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be going Carter over over James Cook. Yeah, Lost playing got Brees. to, got to. Yeah, All right. especially with especially with Tennessee getting gashed on the ground. Granted, Saquon looks chef's kiss. Saquon looks fantastic. Saquon's back. Saquon's back. Hope you drafted him at a discount. The one one question mark. Mm, let's take it easy. He's twenty five, which is like old as redraft. fucking. Oh, uh, redraft? Nah, he's on the Giants still. He's about to get used. Yeah. And take a second half rejuvenation of that whole offense. Mm-hmm. Maybe if they had played Kadarius Tony, they wouldn't have that problem. What are you looking for over there? I'm just perusing. <laughs> just taking a gander. Yeah. <laughs> what if what if somehow my LA Rams got Barkley in a trade? Mm, I don't think that's happening. It's happening. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna imagine it just for this. They're de- they that offense functions well with a running back. Although they did one they did win the Super Bowl without one really last year. So. Yeah. Fair. All right, let's get out of here. This is way too long. It's mm. not intended to be this long, of course, because this is what we always do. But yeah, but we didn't have anyone rambling. We had some good conversations, quick back and forth stuff. All right, we need to pick a winner for this T-shirt giveaway. Let me look up this random number generator. Got a list of guys. Didn't have that many entries. Need to get in here. Let me get your uh, five-star review. Send it to me, Twitter. Gmail. DFFDynasty at gmail.com. Instagram direct message. I I did check Facebook just to make sure I didn't miss anyone. All right, we got seven. Let me pull up the list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Andrew. I don't know how to say your last name, man. B-R-A-C-H-T. Brock? Brocked. Brocked. Bratched. 
No, it's Brock. Can't be bratched. It's Brock. Hey, shout out to Andrew. I'm glad he won this. He's always hitting us up, man. Andrew uh, B. Andrew B. Appreciate you, Andrew B. Is uh, a candy company name? Uh, Brock. Send Brock. me uh, send me your info. We'll get you that t-shirt sent out. Um, but give us a five-star review. Let us know. Send us a screenshot, and uh, we'll enter you into a contest. I'm going to start one right up after this. So, got so many downloads and not nearly enough reviews. So, do your part. Help us out. You know? Love That's all it. we're asking. Five-star review. Just tap it. You don't even have to type anything in. Just tap it away. Tap, tap, tap away. Tap a little. You know? Perfect. <laughs> be too good for your home? Huh? All in the hips. Looking for some more content, more interaction, go over to the Discord. Patreon. Patreon.com slash the FF Dynasty. Hit us up on the Discord. Anything else you guys got? Appreciate I'm y'all good. for joining us. I'm good. Let's go. Studs versus duds. Let's ride. <laughs> Let's be an expensive car. Peace. <laughs> Jaguars. Jaguars. They're expensive cars. Or they're hiding in trees. The jacks, they hide yeah, in trees? Yeah, they're in the jungle. Like the rainforest. Nap but the they're tree. up in trees in the jungle? Yeah. Smaller cat. Maybe? You watch the Jungle Book again? But Gears, that's a, that's a panther, not a jaguar. I don't know that there's any jaguars in the fucking jung- in the Jungle Book. Let's get a cast look up here. Get your shit straight. I, I We just... We just like watch Jungle Book. I got, I'm, I got kids' movies on deck. There's no Jag. It's Bagheera is a panther. I just yeah, watched, I, I'm aware. I just watched the new one. Bagheera is definitely a panther. I, I don't think you're wrong, though. I think they're a smaller cat who peruses yes. uh, some trees. Also expensive cars. All right. <laughs> Hashtag tree life. That's too small. I need, if yeah. you had a Mac, I I could see it better. <laughs> <laughs> also, to clear, you know, Jags are British, but they're owned by Ford, so I think it's pretty much American. They used to be owned by Ford, but not anymore. Not anymore? No. But what, are they back to their own thing? Yeah, I think so. Are you sure? James Bond owns. I'm to Google that, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're getting out of here for real. Peace. How can we leave them with a cliffhanger like that? Because the music's in there. Okay. You can Google it. They're owned by the Jaguar Land Rover. All right. Is Land Rover owned by Ford? No. (laughs) I don't know my cars. You know, give me the cheap used car. They have. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) We're out of here.